Now this is a premium quality product. It will be one of your biggest go-to toys in your shop. Welcome to Low Finish, I'm Donald Williams. We are really ready for the all new 2022 DA Leveler. This thing's coming out this year. It's 21 millimeter dual action polisher. It's ready to take on the, the biggest challenges in the industry. In the box, you come with a free pad, some of the handles, instructions, and you get this beautiful baby here, right here. Now this is a premium quality product, outlast any of the industry leaders. Gets way more power, you're looking at 30% more power, which is dramatically gonna reduce the stall time. It'll be the workhorse that your shop needs to be able to not only gloss out the product, but actually start to cut and remove some of those scratches. It will be one of your biggest go-to toys in your shop. We're gonna show off the DA leveler now. We're gonna show you how to use it, show its power ratings. We're gonna be using CP1. Uh, this is a cut, polish, protecting one. It's a ceramic coating that's gonna be laid down while it's correcting. Uh, this is a product that can be used with all sorts of things. Just change up your pads to be able to remove, cut with a microfiber and say LP1 or NLC. Do the polishing by either doing our, our dark blue pad or our light blue finishing pad. And then if you just want to use it as a wax application, you can do that with Velocity Gloss. Let's do a quick demo here with CP1. One of the biggest things you'll notice while you're using the leveler is as you get into the contours, most of the products will stall out, it's called a safety thing, but what it is is the way the power is driven makes it stall. Well, when the machine's not turning, guess what? It's not working. So we've gone through, created 30% more power, created a nice balance. I'm gonna turn this thing to four. And most of them will stall out. This thing still goes. See how well balanced it is? The DA leveler comes with variable speeds. The one you're going to start in, it's going to be very slow. And what this is going to do, as you see, it's going to be only for wax applications. When you're looking at a dual action polisher, this thing rotates and it orbits. So you can see, you can see how much surface area this is also covering. So this is driving and free spinning, okay? So it's spinning the pad to reduce the heat and to create a gloss. And then this is the driving force, is the orbit. So that's gonna bear it down to remove scratches and create gloss as well. When you're doing a wax application, you'll be one, two, or three. You'll take it at a one or a two. Even if you wanna wipe something down, say you wanna put a microfiber pad on there just to clean off the product. Four or five is going to be where you're going to start to cut. Four is going to be about where you want to polish. Five and six is going to be where you're going to want to do your heavy duty cutting. There's a lot of scratches, towel marks, uh, and a lot of work to do. You'll be around five or six. Again, just because it's uh, it can go to six doesn't mean you should always crank it up and go to six. You want to make sure because there are more gentle paints that if you get into that six range, the power that's in this thing you can actually do some damage and, and burn. Just because you can go doesn't mean you should. It just gives that professional grade product to put in the power of your hands to be able to do all the cutting and the correction you need. Again, one to two gonna be your wax applications, three to four gonna be your polishing applications, five to six gonna be your cutting applications. We're gonna do a quick walkthrough of our DA leveler here. Right here is the speed and power adjustment. One being the lowest, Six being the highest in power. Your trigger turns it on, and then you have an automatic lock button that puts it and engages it so you don't have to worry about holding the trigger. And you just use the trigger to unlock it, okay? Right here are your two brush applications. Eventually, the brushes start to wear out. You'll notice it by it'll start to misfire. You usually just turn it over, they pop out, plug them right back in. Screw it in and you're ready to go again. Your backing plate comes with air holes so that the heat comes through the machine and out through these specific vents. It's easy with a Allen wrench to simply unscrew it. You hold the backing plate down and unscrew it. If the backing plate ever needs to be replaced, hook a loop, bat, bat on there, line up the center. Very simple product, easy to use. So we got a list of products here 
to go along with this DAA leveler. We brought it in specifically to be companions with one another. If you're looking to go ahead and remove a whole lot of scratches, you can only use the DA leveler with a microfiber finishing pad and the NLC. Follow it up if you're going to do a ceramic coating or wax or velocity gloss with LP1 to create a high gloss. Now, don't forget, a lot of times for most people, the NLC will finish off great and be the gloss that you need on all your lighter color cars, silvers, whites. There would be no reason to go with a uh, more fine, higher grade gloss like the LP1 provides. But all of your darker color cars, you'll want to go with LP1. It'll create that nice, deep, wet look you're looking for. You can do it by itself as a standalone, depending on the scratches that you need, and your choice of pad. You can do a microfiber pad, then step down from the medium pad to the finished pad. I'm not trying to overcomplicate things, but a lot of times everybody wants to see how they can get to that next level gloss. Then if you want to ceramic coat it, a little bit more expensive product, but gives you more bang for your buck and longevity, you can go with CP1. That will get rid of any of the fine towel scratches that you may have when wiping off your compound, and then give you long lasting protection of up to one year protection with CP1. It's a ceramic, it likes the heat, it'll go through uh, the summer weathers and be able to last you quite a bit longer than a lot of the leading brands that are out that are just applications. And if you're looking just for a wet, great feeling, good looking wax, after you go through and do the correction process with either the uh, microfiber pad or the dark blue pad, you can finish off with velocity gloss here by lowering the speed, putting on with our finishing foam pad, baby blue color, and a DA leveler at a slower speed, and just go through quickly, get that nice wet look, great slick feel that you're looking for with a good three to four month protection. Thanks for stopping by level-finish.com and checking out all the new products. We have a lot of new content coming out in 2022. It's gonna show you how to combine products with the new DA leveler, all the products that we have to be able to take your detail to the next level. So don't forget to subscribe down below, like, and share it with your friends. That way they can keep up to date with all of the next level products coming out ready for you.